Lofton up the middle into center field, a base hit. It is finally over. The longest game in Indians history. The Indians win it in the bottom of the 17th, 10 to 9. There's a base hit to center field. Here comes Carlos Bayerga around third. Here comes the throw to the plate. He slides. He saves the Indians win. your breath and then now facing a right-hander there's a drive deep to right it is long gone Trevor wins the game in the 10th inning on a home run by Jim Comey well hit the right center field back is Tinsley to the winning track is still here at Jacobs Field. Comes inside, high fly ball, deep left field. Henderson looks up, the ball is gone, and the Indians win the game. Manny Ramirez, a two-out, two-run home run in the bottom of the 12th inning. The sweep is... Unbelievable. Racked up five singles. Line to center field. Back is Edmonds to the one. He tracked to the wall. It's gone. A grand slam home run. The magic continues. The Indians win. Oh. Look at this place. Unbelievable. on Sunday. How about this? Here they come. And there it goes. The only guy that didn't get up is the winning pitcher. <laughs> wow. The second time. 3-3 three, three time, bottom of the night. Murray with a deep drive to right. This ball Here's a drive down the left field line. Well hit and out of here. All the streaks are extended. They're 9-0 in extra innings. They win for the 22nd time in their last at bat, and it's the seventh time they've won on a sudden death home run. This one number six on the year for Alomar. And the beat oh, yes, here. Give me a lot of innings, because we don't have a lot. It's August 31st. The stroke of midnight say good night for Cleveland. Bell's 32nd home run, and the Indians come back with two. With the one they'll remember here for a while as Bell makes the Indians comeback winner. Where the outfield is pulled in as well. Medium depth in right field. Everybody else is selling. Base hit. That's going to do it. The Indians go to 13-0 in extra innings. 
Well, when you're hot, you're hot.